Uh, let's create a Fire Monkey application for the desktop. Let's put a, a client data set down and let's put some data in the client data set. So right mouse click, load from my base table. Let's find a client data set uh, table. There's my uh, client data set file. So now I have fields down in, in the live binding designer of the columns that are in that table, which is the BioLife uh, client data set. And let's go and put the TMS grid, FMX grid, down. Here's the TMX grid. And then how, how do we bind this? Just grab the asterisk, which means all fields, and connect it with live bindings to the grid. Now we've got the data from the client data set in the grid. Let's just run this application. And it runs on Windows. It'll run on Macintosh. And we've got uh, you know data. We can edit it. We can see the, the text and so on. So what else can we do with the, with the FireMonkey grid from TMS? Well, a couple things we can do, for example, is we can go and, uh, and deal with uh, the fact that this notes uh, column is, a, is coming from a text blob. And the way we do that is we can do that in code. So underneath, when we select the grid, it has event handlers. And one of those event handlers on get cell layout will create an event handler so that we can work with that column which is column 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, column 7. So we'll say if the row that we're on is, is not that first row, but the zero row, which is our header line, and the column that we're doing a, a layout on is equal to 7, which is the column that has the, the notes text blob in it, we're going to set the layout for that column. Uh, and we'll set its word wrapping property equal to true. So we'll do word wrap. And we'll also set the layout and we'll go here and set the, the vertical text alignment property. And we'll set that equal to T text align dot leading, which will make the text align to the top corner of the grid cell. And there's a, a property to be able to reset the column size, and it's under here for the mouse. For example, we can say, uh, do allow column sizing and allow row sizing, and we'll hit run again. And then now when we resize the notes column, for example, and we resize a row, for example, notice that it's doing word wrap inside of the cell. Now, the other thing I want to do is I want to, when I resize this graphic area, I want to also have it resize the bitmap of the fish accordingly. So to do that, we simply want to align for each of the cells that we resize the, the bitmap to the client area of the cell. And so we can go back to the grid uh, event, which is called get cell properties. So down here on get cell properties, we're going to say if the cell that we're, that we're gonna manipulate is of type, there's bitmap grid cell. So if it's of type, uh, if it has a bitmap in the cell coming from the field, then we want to take the cell and cast it so that we can set its bitmap alignment. So T, T, M, S, F, M, X, bitmap, grid, cell, dot, bitmap, dot, align, is equal to T, align, layout, dot, uh, AL client, so the client area of the cell, and then we'll run. And now when we resize, remember I was resizing before the the text blob, which is the which is the to do word wrap. Now notice that when I resize the columns that have to do with cells that have bitmaps, then it will set the since the alignment is set to AL client, meaning the client area of this cell as opposed to the client area of the form, uh, then each of these gets uh, the right size and grows to be uh, something that we want. Right? And there's lots of other control uh, controls available, both in s property settings and in code for the, uh, for, this, for the FireMonkey grid from TMS. There's uh, the ability to do summations, to do calculated co fields. Uh, there's lots of control that's a more than 100 page uh, document on all the capabilities in the TMS grid for FireMonkey.
You can say you can import and export from CSV files to text files, uh, and so on. All of that is available inside of the grid. Let me show you uh, an example that I built just to save a little time. This one uh, has a couple items in it. Number one, there's a property for sorting. So if I go to the grid and I go to the grid options, there's a there's this property called sorting, and you can not sort. So the default is GS none, meaning don't do any sorting. Uh, you can have normal sorting. What normal sorting says is you can choose one column to sort on. And so whatever column you click on, uh, and if you, you can toggle to, to sort ascending or descending, and it's just one column in the grid. So you get this little blue triangle that tells you the column that you're sorting on and which direction you're sorting on it. Now, if you want to do a multi-column sort, then you choose uh, GSM, which is uh, sorting mode indexed, and let's run this again, compile and run it. And now you click on a column and it puts a yellow triangle with an index number on it. And so, you know, no matter what you do, you click and toggle. Uh, it puts, so that's, if you're only sorting on one column, then it's index one and, uh, and that's it. But if you want to sort on multiple columns, for example, sort on the common name of, uh, of fish within the category, then you click on the first one, let's say ascending, then you hold down the shift key, you, and then I click on another column. Now it's sorting uh, the common name within the category. So if I do descending, notice the ling cod is, comes before lunar tail rock cod. So if I click again, it's descending. So now lunar tail rock cod uh, comes before ling cod, but the category is the same. If I let off and click, then it goes back to, to setting, in, setting the new indexes. Uh, find the fish that are length, that are the largest, for example, within all of them. So we do this kind of thing, and then order them by their common name. So all of that is that's built built-in functionality. So there's some parts of the grid that are built in by setting lots of different options down here in the object inspector, and there are lots of options uh, in the grid. Here's the options property, and then underneath there's banding, borders, clipboard support filtering, footers, headers, uh, what do you want a visible header? You know, do you want to do IO? Do you want to do printing? So do you want to do something special in printing, like maybe put a page number format at the bottom of the page and the orientation? Is it portrait or landscape? Fire Monkey Grid uh, from TMS is part of the bonus pack, and then you can upgrade to all of the, the components that are inside of their, uh, their Fire Monkey pack. Uh, that the grid is also a part of from TMS software. One of the things I also want to show you is how to group items. So, for example, if I want to group by uh, category, I say the grid component, FMX grid one. Uh, I want to do a grouping on column two. So column two is over here, is starting with zero, one, two. So this is going to sort on the category of fish. Oh, and then I say sort grouped. Uh, on column two, do it ascending, or I could have said descending. And then the second button does an ungroup. So here, if I click group by category, it sorts on the type of fish. So uh, here's angelfish, here's cod. There's two types of codfish. And it gives you this plus minus in this uh, left-hand column where you can expand and collapse. And when you're done, you can ungroup. 